depending on the damage to the brain, depending on the location of the damage to the brain, depending on the degree of injury as an in extent of the damage, you can predict cerebral palsy, types of cerebral palsy. For example, brain damage in a particular part of the brain where the two hemispheres meet will predominantly give you problems with your legs, feet, thighs. On the other hand, brain damage in one hemisphere in the motor area will give you paralysis, stroke on the opposite side of the brain. Brain damage that occurs in the deep structures of the brain that are called basal ganglia will give a different CP. It is called extrapyramidal CP. So they have rigidity and they have abnormal movements. So yes, depending on the location, the degree and the extent of the brain damage, there are many, many different CP syndromes as we call them. But because of CAT scan, first MRI more recently, it has now become possible to identify again the extent, the location and the degree of damage and give prognosis, good or bad.